Over 300 teams start the season with hopes of making it to the NCAA tournament, but only 64 lucky teams received an invitation. These teams start their journey down the road to the Final Four in today's game between the Colgate Raiders and the Texas Longhorns. This place is rocking and rolling, baby! The Longhorns should have an easy one tonight, Dick. How do they keep this team from sneaking up on them, though? Hey, here's my keys for them tonight. First, play your game. It's up to the point guard to make certain that they stay in their game and they play at their pace. Second of all, pound the ball inside. Challenge their big men. And lastly, take care of the ball on offense and play aggressive perimeter defense. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court and we'll see how this one plays out. He was applying great pressure defense. Went for the steal, but he wound up with a personal foul instead. God, that's what happened when the defense is too aggressive and looking for the steal. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Are they confused about who goes where on that double team? Oh, there's no doubt. I think right now I've got to focus defensively. Try to go inside. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I got defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. He shoots from downtown. He gets it to go. On the dribble, gives it up. Moving it around the perimeter. Jumps in. The land. Got a man in high post. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. The power forward takes the feed. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip. Going one way, you spin back the other way. High post flashes for the opportunity. Trying to feed inside and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Dumps it in. The Raiders have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Colgate have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. High post flashes for the ball handler. Fakes it. Here's a double team. Steal. And then coming the other way. And the ball goes out of play. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Five second call approaching. And up. That was absolutely phenomenal. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Kicks it out. There they come with a double team to stop it. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him and he lost possession. They work the perimeter. The small forward takes the pass. They look to get it to the inside. The shooting guard gets the pass. He's money with the shot. The ball goes out of play. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. Good fake. The fake. Executes the baby hook. And off the mark. He's got a high post flasher. Some frustration right there. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. There's a slam. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best.
Here's a flash from the post up high. Controlling the ball. Great play to take that to the basket. it up keeps the dribble as they regroup with anticipation defensively the point guard gets the ball trying to stay with him defensively and he's going to pick up the foul oh what a terrific job exploding in the basket poor job defensively letting him get the ball that deep The center with the ball. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Colgate are on a run right here as of late, Nick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. And that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charm. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. Takes it off him. It's a fast break possibility. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Oh, yes. Up and inside. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. They move it into the front court. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they say, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Stolen away. Here we go on the break. Look at that spacing. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Team now, bad angle for the bucket, perfectly executed. On the dribble, gives it up. Big man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity, and it really converts an offensive transition. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. Basket falls despite the contact. It's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Now they work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Takes the pass in the paint. Trying to draw the foul. We get another look. Tanner is emotionally pumped up. Hey, whether you win or lose, you should be afraid to show your emotions. There's a double team waiting there. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. They work it back to the outside. Shoots from outside. He drains the shot. Go 
goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. They'll work it around the arc. The ball goes out of bounds. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the leading team down here is very relaxed. I'm down by their bench, and the coaches are reminding them, despite the score, try and remain focused. Remember, it's the first half. Anything can happen, guys. From three-point land, Colgate are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Oh, right, right there, they missed him inside. You got to get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art, feeding the post. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Get that sucker out of the game, man. They're working around the perimeter. Dump it inside. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He shoots from the elbow. Off the rim and no good. Moving it around the perimeter. Coach looks on. Focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Texas has had a lot of success over the last few years with the 2005 College World Series Championship, and then, of course, 2006 College Football National Championship. Well, they get some great athletes, Brad. Now they're looking for a few basketball championships of their own. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Ten on the shot clock. Perfectly executed. On the dribble, gives it up. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Working it around the perimeter. Time to pick up the defense here now. Both teams looking to get things going here. Top of the circle. He buries the shot. Show the replay on that. Gave it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Look at that spacing. He attempts the trifecta. There was no doubt about that one. There it is again. as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. He gets the foul, and the layup will count, Dick. Hey, way to play strong, my man. Way to play strong. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. The Longhorns can't get things going right here. Emotionally, they look like they're spent. I think they've reached that point, Brad. That's exactly what happens when you get away from playing team basketball. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. 
unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in, and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, good close play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Turns it over. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Texas have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. On the dribble, gives it up. Count that as a personal foul. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. From right in the circle, they are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Puts it up, looking for contact. That's good. That's an 11 nothing run. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Gave it up. There's the trap. He looks at the hoop. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. Texas have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. They work it around the perimeter. There they come with a double team to stop it. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR. Hey, where's Mr. Petty? On the outside. On the inside. Double team now. Bad angle. Front of the city now. Always really the gate. Any offense. Using his size with a punch. Gets up to make the block. He's a high riser. Sensational, baby. Dump it inside. Pushing that basketball. On the dribble, gives it up. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. 
We'll strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. He shoots from the top of the circle. Way off target. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. We're going to move it around the perimeter. The Raiders have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. He goes for three. Dick, they are loving it behind that line. Hey, as long as you're hitting, the loving is good, baby. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Gave it up. Has a nice look at the basket. Goes. Looking for a good shot. He fakes the shot. He tries the fall away. Buries the sweet fade. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. Moving it around the perimeter. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. Sinks it. the dribble gives it up gave it up for the bucket perfectly executed on the outside and now they'll bring it up lets it fly drains the shot two for one opportunity Picks off the pass. Goes up for two. Drains it. We need an instant replay for this one. Looking for a good shot. Ooh, look at the shot block. They got some contact. Nice hops. And the ball goes out of bounds. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He shoots from right of the circle. Woodson dials long distance. He wants a three. That was nice. At the half, the Raiders lead by six. We've had a very tight contest tonight, Dick. What's your highlight of the half? This trifecta was the key for me, Brad. It opened up the game in the first half. It'll be interesting to see if they can keep up the outside shooting in the second. Let's get back to the action and see what happens. Texas is practically handing the ball over to the opposing team like it's a Christmas present or something right now, Dick. Hey, any team would gladly receive this kind of nice gesture. I bet they're not getting anything but a mouthful of criticism from their coaching staff. Well, let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Aaron. They'll work it around the arc. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. The Longhorns are trailing by six. 
Defensively, they just won't get many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Good. He shoots from left of the circle, off the rim, and no good. Strip, Rad. You really need to protect the ball around these guys. The defense senses a five-second call. He shoots from right of the circle. He drains the shot. Kicks off the lazy pass. Looks at a three. Scorches the net. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. He strips him clean. Tries for two with a layup. the shot that spin moves not gonna work against this defense that's a no-no baby defensive player beats him to the spot I tell you great job protecting the basketball getting deep close position and the jump hook is so effective on the outside takes away the pass the point guard receives the pass An open guy in the post and went the other way. He takes the shot. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. Here's a double team. He shoots from downtown, drains it. The center receives the ball. There's a double team waiting there. He comes away with it. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Perfectly executed. Oh my goodness, that was unbelievable, baby. up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. They work the perimeter on the dribble, gives it up for the deuce. He puts it in with contact and all. There's the trap. Take it away. Defense got it after knocking it loose. For two, and he scores it off the glass. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Takes the pass in the paint. 
Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Now you got to get back. Don't allow him to have number. Draws the foul and gets the basket. He's into it. Win, baby. That's his name. I like that in the player. He goes to the line for the first time. He hits it. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play out there and you're funny. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Dump it inside. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. Picked off. Got numbers right here. Jumps into the defender. Ooh, look at the shot block. We got some contact. Nice hops. Colgate are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Bowen handles the pass for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Number 42 with the fake. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. They may have to do a strategic switch here on defense. Hey, good luck on that, Brad. He takes it away for the bucket. Look at that clock. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. A little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Pressure, great double team, really explosive. Stolen away. Transition opportunity coming up. Picks off the pass. Bowen handles the feed. He gets it to fall. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. Making his presence felt with a block. He hits the shot. Is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Goes up for two. In the paint. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. A uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense, 
poor job defensively. They don't get back, don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert, get the number game going. Picks off the lazy pass. He shoots from the top of the key. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. The Longhorns trail by five. On the inside. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. There they come with a double team to stop it. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. For two, doesn't go. With a little baby hook, Texas are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they're going to keep pushing and seeing if they can't force a timeout. They'll work it around the arc. Gave it up. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. The ball goes out of play. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything is falling into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? Working it around the perimeter on the dribble, gives it up. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Here's a double team. Take another look at that play. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he posterized him. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stressed during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. Aaron's right about that. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you have a great post play. You got a chance to really win. He shoots from the top of the circle, gets it to fall. They work it around the perimeter. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, down here on the sidelines, there is such intensity from both benches. Both coaches are emphasizing shot selection and defensive stops. So important here in the second half. Too much. That's a foul. Oh, and the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing. They bring a lot of spirit. Here's the block from behind. My man was on a mission. Great vision. Look at him. Head up. He shoots from the angle. Got it. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Now they work it around the perimeter. Intercepted. On the outside. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. He attempts the three. Texas are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. For the bucket. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. He launches a three. 
He buries it. Moving it around the perimeter. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. The shot's off target. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Robs him of the ball. Goes up for two. Finger roll. That's seven on answer. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. And a momentary look from three-point land. Steals the pass. He goes for three. They're making a living right now at the three-point line. Let's see if they can keep this up for the remainder of the game. Try and surprise the opposition with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. Picked out of the air. He shoots from left to the circle. Texas are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they're putting it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. From right in the circle. You bet. With the fake. With the jump hook. I tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny. But then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Wow, let's check out the replay. He goes with a jump hook. I'll tell you, great shot. I, I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Takes away the pass. Cross court with a deep shot from outside. That's good. Nothing but joy and delight in the stands right now. These fans realize that this game is out of reach, Dick. It's almost an expectation, Brad. You're supposed to win your home games, but winning by this amount, my goodness. Looking for a good shot. He launches a three. It's good. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Humiliated, poor job defensively. What's the perimeter? Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. 
They're dialing threes up like nothing right now. Hey, this is awesome to watch, baby. Here's the screen up on top. Perfectly executed. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. That's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Woodson goes to the line for the first time. Hits the first. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Defense, defense. They're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Look at that spacing. They work it around the perimeter on the outside. For the deuce. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Very soft defensively. No pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. There's the pick. the shot clock he launches the bomb he gets that one to fall one on the shot clock here's the toss back out from the post I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer up it inside Dick, sometimes statistics lie, but in this tournament game, I don't think they do. The better team won, and they're going on. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. Let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. The Longhorns played exactly the type of game they need to get past their first-round opponent. Mr. Nestler, if they can execute the way they did,